The Soviet Union has admitted that an accident has taken place at a nuclear power station at Chernobyl in the Ukraine. Hey everybody, uh, it's Jonathan again, here with Nick. And uh, this is going to be another video in our tips and tricks uh, session, which is just much more difficult to say than you would think once you start recording something. This one is going to focus on editing and some of our favorite uh, editing uh, tricks. I think some people are, are familiar with cutting, but uh, maybe we'll start there to show some of your favorite versions of it. Yes, exactly. So cutting is something that we do all the time. You make a selection and you cut. Pretty straightforward. There's nothing uh, to talk about there, really. Um, but what I would like to uh, emphasize is different ways that you can cut. So as you all can see, I have uh, more than one track going. And as soon as you have more than one track, you have to keep your sync in mind, which is really, really important. Because if I just make a cut here, as I did before, you can see this moves fine, but this region over here also moved. If I just undo that, you can see it again. And redo, you can see this one is moving. This is not what I wanted. I only wanted this bit over here to move. So what I can do is uh, we have a, a special way of cutting, which is we call region cut. So I want to edit something here in the middle. I don't want to affect that. So region cut, it will just affect this region here and nothing else is affected. Extremely useful. One of my favorite editing tricks, which very, very few people would use, but I just love the fact that we actually have it in there, is a reverse cut. Now, I'll just show you first what it actually does, and then I can try to explain why we do it, because it will not make sense to a lot of people. So I make a selection, and if I did a cut now, everything will move this way. But if I do a reverse cut, everything will move the opposite way. So everything from the left is now moving to the right. And by this point, hopefully you're asking yourself, why in God's name would you want to do that? Well, the situation is, if you're a podcast editor and you are editing other people's podcasts, what will typically happen is that you will receive an audio file and then you will receive a, an edit list. Now, the issue with editing is that if I go in at 23 seconds and do an edit, just a regular edit like this, and do a cut, the first time I do that, everything else here has been moved, as we proved before, which means that all the times that are in my script here, we can't use them. Um, because they're referring to the file as it was like just before we made the edit. So what you will typically have to do is edit in reverse. So you start with the, the last edit, and then you edit that one, and then you cut, and then you go backwards, which is a way that we've been forced to do things <laughs> through all the time that I've actually edited. And it's a pain in the neck, to be honest, to do it that way. It can be done, and uh, that's the way you would do it. So... Now I guess you can see where I'm going with this. If you could just edit the other way around. So I went in around 23 seconds. By the way, you can just go down here and type in 23 seconds. And then I can do my edits. I'll do my reverse edit. Click. And then I can just find the next time I want to put in there. 130. Go. Do my edits. Reverse edit. There you go. So all my edits uh, in my script will still be exactly where uh, I want them to be. And it's just such a time saver. So I love it. Very often, you're going to edit a region. You're going to cut off the very beginning, maybe before a person starts speaking, and the very end. Usually, there's a little bit of uh, excess silence or something like that. If you... Um, have the playhead where Nick has it, uh, write it where the audio starts, and there's the, the stuff that you want to cut the, uh, beforehand. If you press Q, it will cut everything uh, from before that on the playhead. And then if you go to the end of a, a region and you do the same thing and you press um, W, it will cut off 
the end of the region. And so those keys, if you look in your keyboard, are right next to each other. And that's the idea. So that's a, just a really handy way to kind of clean things up very fast. And um, and you can, uh, it, it's the same for Mac and Windows. You can do some things in Hindenburg with the silence. Um, you can insert the silence uh, and move regions around. You uh, also can cut away silence, meaning the the space in the work in the workspace, and regions will snap or move uh, the other other way. So, in order to do the the first one of inserting silence, Nick would uh, make a selection in an area that's not on the region but in the silence, and copy it, and then insert it in on any of the tracks, and it will shift the region over. I just want to move this region here with this amount of space. See? Okay. Yep. So now I'm selecting over that. So instead of copying, I just say shift command and right arrow. And it's going to move everything along after the out marker uh, using this amount of space. And obviously I can do that with uh, any amount of tracks that I want. So if I wanted to move everything here, there you go. Well, Nick, uh, I know how much you like the select all to end feature. So why wouldn't you just use that feature? I would, because we hadn't invented it yet. At the time we we invented, um, what did I just call it? Inserts uh, space. Mm -hmm. um, we hadn't come up with the idea for select all to end, which is by far my favorite feature and is is just so cool so uh, you we've shown this before in, a, in another video but i just want to show you it again so i can just uh, hold down alt command and click on a region it will select everything from that region to the end and i can just move it over and it's just so so bloody fast because if i wanted to rearrange something i could just you know quickly just do something like this and now I've rearranged my audio. It doesn't doesn't get any faster than that. So for anyone who's doing you know, more complex stories where you want to try out different storylines, this is definitely the tool to use. All right. So editing uh, radio and podcasts and what have you is a lot like uh, editing music. You want to hit a certain beat. Now. In radio, the way to do it is uh, you have to you have to feel where the beat is. You, you don't have any beat lines or anything like that. It's it's more of a feeling. So what you typically will do is you'll play back the audio and then you'll go, ah, this is where I want my next clip to come in. So if I play back the clip like this, different clinical manifestations, it may remain to be studied. And here. It feels to me like the right place to um, to have the, the next piece of audio. So now I can just choose the audio and have it snap to the playhead. So using shift command and the arrows, I can move this uh, region and it will snap to different points. So I can also get it to move the other way. And it looks like it's just jumping around randomly but it's it's actually not the first right now it's snapping to this marker here it's snapping to the playhead uh, but it's definitely snapping to something that you have in your workspace and obviously right now i have quite a few things in my workspace if you hold down uh, command or control on windows and just use the arrow keys you can actually nudge your region just slightly you just wanted to just move a little bit. There you go. So that's a way of taking the same region and just moving it over a tiny little bit. But mm -hmm. there is another way that you can take the region, not move where it is, or the beginning of it where it is, but maybe make it just the tiniest little bit uh, faster or a, a little bit more drawn out or go really far and make it sound like your drunk uncle. Yeah, you should... Let's, let's step away from that one. Okay, but let's, okay. So often again, in these more complex mixes that we have here, we have everything lined up the way that we want it. 
But we do have a slight issue, which is there's an overlap here. I want this region to start here. I'm actually forced to somehow to get this region to uh, abide to my will. I could go in and just uh, trim a little bit in it, but that's obviously taken away from the uh, the rhythm of uh, the narration. So what I can also do is I can actually time stretch just slightly. So I only want it to move it just slightly. So if I hold down Option Command, I get this uh, other tool here at the end, which is a time stretch tool. And this is not something that is processed or anything. This is in real time. I can just move this over slightly. So now it lines up just, i move my playhead so you can see what I'm doing. I want it to just hit this spot here. The end of this one, I want it to start, uh, end where this one begins. So I can just again, just slightly move. Okay. Okay, everybody, uh, those are some uh, of our favorite editing tools, the tips and the tricks uh, with, that hopefully will make your life a little bit easier when using, when using Hindenburg. So uh, be sure to check out other videos in this series, and we'll see you soon. Bye now. Bye. The Soviet Union has admitted that an accident has taken place at a nuclear power station.